Well, hello, Internet. We are playing The Binding of Isaac. Uh, my channel is a brand new one. I'm going to be doing a series of Let's Plays, several different games, probably some Dark Souls and Isaac right off the bat. Uh, but we'll do some more later on. Right now, this is post-commentary. Um, I will be doing live commentary in the future, but probably more so, more live commentary than post. But, yeah, right now I started recording this because I actually got the scapular on the very first item room and the cursed skull on the very next room. I don't know if you know, but there's actually an exploit using these two items that pretty much makes you invincible. It's going to, see right there, it's going to give you a soul heart and teleport you out of the room every time you get hit. Um, this makes for some very annoying rooms because you have to beat them without taking any hits to progress uh, as you're gonna see in this boss fight it does not go so well for me right here but we'll get through it spoiler alert we will get through it uh, yeah this was not meant to be recorded at first that's why I didn't start at the very beginning of the run but we're very close so as you can see here I've already died a few times on this boss I can never remember which horseman of the apocalypse is which uh, but this one is a douchebag that's for sure most of them are douchebags uh, pestilence I think he's the green one right um, he's, he's not too bad but yeah and also something I didn't know was if you leave a boss room for whatever reason and come back it has a chance of becoming a champion or becoming not a champion if it already was uh, <laughs> and that was some pretty bad damage right there on the fire but it doesn't matter because I'm invincible so yeah and also something I've noticed is that when you're entering rooms a lot of time there's like a yellow stain like a piss stain or something by the door where you entered uh, that happens a lot in this game I don't know if that's a glitch see right there like I don't know if that's something that's meant to happen but uh, it happens a lot in this game sometimes it doesn't happen so that's why I'm wondering um, but yeah I believe uh, we're gonna die again here I have not as you probably have already uh, seen I have not been managing my bombs very well at all as there is, is a tinted rock up in the top left corner um, that I will not get because I'm an idiot so forgive me I know people are picky about that sort of thing on the interwebs but uh, you know just deal with it and surprised didn't take the damage from that fly but uh, there you go so, um, I believe we're gonna kill him here. Yeah, I believe so. This blue one, he actually does not spawn enemies, but he does shoot those Tammy's Head-esque uh, circles of shots, which I don't believe the normal version does. And, uh, yeah, but without spawning the enemies, he's gonna be much easier. Uh, just to give you a little background about my Isaac career, I have, I believe, on Steam I have 54, 55 hours into Isaac. Um, I have beaten Blue Baby, I have unlocked Blue Baby as a character. I think I have like 75% of the achievements. So, I'm pretty far, but not super far. Uh, there we go, we got got the mystery horseman that I don't remember his name got him to the second stage of the head which is much much easier he's not flying around trying to gang bang you in the ass lots of ass gang bangs going on lately in my life um, so yeah it's something I'm used to but uh, anyway 
right here, this room is going to piss me the fuck off. But we won't see that till later. I uh, got the item room, no keys. Uh, this is weird, kind of talking over a video with no sound. I can't hear the video right now, so it's just kind of me chilling here by myself, talking. Kind of creepy, kind of weird, but I like it. That's how I like to live my life, creepy and weird. Uh, right here, I believe. Yep, yep, you're gonna see the worst use of a bomb pretty much ever, and then some shitty luck after that, so. Yo, I, I know you can. I have done it before where you place a bomb in the middle of those two on this room, and you can get both walls of bombs blown up, but that one didn't blow up either, so that doesn't make much sense to me. Uh, I believe that was Abel. Uh, not too good, and then that's Doctor's Remote. Doctor's Remote's pretty good, D6 is better in my opinion. Uh, depending on your build. Build. It's not Dark Souls, come on. Alright, killing these flies here. Nutsack flies. Those nutsack flies, they'll get you. They have the same shot as like the greed heads. Greed heads, I'd have to say, are probably my least favorite en enemy in the game. Um, because for one, they have a dick ton of health, and for two, they every time they hit you, it takes away a coin. Like that, that right there is lucky, very lucky, and you'll see why coming up in a bit. But um. Yeah, so the greed heads, every time you get hit, you drop a few coins, and you pick them up, you will have one less than you started with. So, while you may think it's just knocking your coins on the ground, it's actually making you lose a coin per hit. And that can get really pissing me off pretty quickly. It can get really pissing me off. Yep. So here we go, this room. <laughs> is really stupid. Um, the room's not too bad. I'm just really stupid and I was playing like shit. Um, I am actually haven't been playing Isaac a lot recently, so a bit rusty. Forgive me on these first few floors. I play like shit. And I actually didn't mention it, but I started this run off uh, with only half a red heart <laughs> because not because I'm so bad that I took that much damage on the first room but I was actually testing the scapular and the cursed skull um, testing them in conjunction with one another to actually see if the exploit works and it does as you guys have seen but yeah gets a little weird gets a little weird so s stay tuned if you like to get weird I'm the right guy for you let's get weird let's get weird then we have the blue candle which is a fantastic item take the key go back to reroll that item I will come back for the candle so don't you worry your little dicks off uh, I'm not saying that y'all have little dicks, but there we go, toothpicks, um, kind of shit item. I mean, Tears Up is great, but it really doesn't seem to be that good of a Tears Up. One of the worst Tears Ups out there. So yeah, Blue Candle, this run just got a lot better. Um, any run gets a lot better with a Blue Candle. Love it. Always will pick it up. <laughs> For the most part. Um, <laughs> always pick it up 60% of the time. So, then we have this uh, Gemini, Champion Gemini. Pretty, pretty easy with the blue candle, just as most bosses, because the blue candle is... The meaning of life. The meaning of my life, anyway. And 
health up. That's always good. Um, devil room. And Krampus. Krampus is a bitch. I hate Krampus. Uh, he's really not that hard. I take damage there because I'm a dumb fuck. And I forgot that Krampus has that laser attack. Uh, it's almost brimstone. Quad brimstone. I wish you could get that in the game. Brimstone's OP enough though as it is. Uh, I love brimstone. And I get hit by it again because I suck dick at Isaac. But that's just how it goes sometimes, y'all. He's really spamming that shit, isn't he? No. Oh. Anyway, brimstone, yeah, good item. I love it. Probably my item ranking for how much I love them. Number one would be Mom's Knife. Number two, Brimstone. Three blue candles. So, bam, bam, wapow. Come back, get the eternal hearts. Shit's good, man. Shit's good. And I didn't skip it this time. I actually got it. Bomb for a key. Take it every time, unless I have a dick ton of keys. Eternal heart becomes a health upgrade. I actually didn't know that until way too late in my Isaac career. Uh, very useful shit, as you guys can see. Blue candle, raping bitches. Get a pill. Pills. I have a very mixed relationship with pills in this game, as I'm sure everyone does. But they oftentimes for me are just have ruined so many runs. Anyway, Rosary, pretty good. Gives me what, three spirit hearts was it? Uh three or four? Um I actually don't remember what it does besides that. Lucky candle bounce right there. Um Oh, that was some pretty shitty damage. Um, yeah, Rosary. Uh, oh yeah, it uh makes it more likely that the Bible will show up, which is kind of a piece of shit item. Um, kind of a dick item, the Bible. But it can be useful if you want to just... I think... I know it kills mom in one hit, in one use. Um, that's actually how I got my very first mom kill. I was like, you know what, fuck it. Because mom is the end game when you're first starting out, if I remember correctly. So yeah, I was like, fuck it, I'll just take this. I had Spirit of the Night and some decent damage upgrade and the Bible. <clears throat> so I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'll just bum rush my way to mom, use the Bible say I've gotten a mom kill, which I did, and uh, yeah, so that's that, but other than that one time, I've never used the Bible, because it is pretty much not good at all, uh, here we get the Fallen, I love facing the Fallen, um, well, I don't like facing him when I'm not very fast, as you can see right there is why, because he rushes the shit out of you. Pretty pro to- ah, never mind. <laughs> um, yeah, he's faster than you. Same, him and Lust do that to you. Lust makes sense. I'm fine with that because that's her only thing that she can do. Um, and it makes sense, Lust, she's like chasing you down, like trying to grab your dick. But uh, yeah, anyway, point being, there we go, Lord of the Pits. The Fallen, love facing him because he gives you devil items. Um, and then Angel Room, the Relic. Fantastic fucking item, the Relic. Um, and the other thing about the candle that I like is the fact that it will destroy dicks. That's just kidding, that's my job at night. Um, no, it will destroy enemy shots. So it's very useful against Isaac and Blue Baby because they just spam shots at you in your face. So, yeah, being able to just plow through those really makes for a fantastic fucking item. 
And here we got these ooze guys again. Um, I really hate them. But, uh, yeah, if this uh, commentary seems a bit laid back or shitty in your opinion, uh, please still stay tuned to my channel because we will have live commentaries in the future and I will be more interesting in those um, and right now it's pretty late at night so you know I'm kinda just chilling out but uh yeah these green guys I don't know why but all the green enemies that shoot those giants shit bombs uh, um, they have a lot of health uh, <clears throat> and they take a lot of health off of you those green things no matter what floor you're on takes off a full part I believe so yeah anyway we we're just discussing green heads here they are because Isaac hates me um, I think right now um, no, I actually have not gotten any damage upgrades. I just had the red tears because of the toothpick. Um, and that's a piece of dick item. But uh, yeah, here we got some nutsack flies. Um, took some stupid damage there. And now we're going to go into the next room and fight Lust. Um, yeah, just gonna cheese her. She's kind of a bitch. But uh, please forgive the bad play on my part, because for one, I haven't been playing Isaac a whole lot, and two, I've got the scapular and curse skill, so I'm invincible. But there's more to be said about that later in the future, but you'll just have to wait and see. Uh, these guys are kind of douchebags just because once you kill them, um, their little maggot thing keeps flying around and that's hit me many a time after I've killed them so yeah not not too fun there left hand overrated item in my opinion I've actually never uh, ooh, 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 demon judgment yeah we're uh, invincible so let's just spam that but anyway um, the left hand red chests I have actually not gotten a red chest in the last, I don't know, like 20 plays of Isaac that did not have two spiders in it. That's it. That's all I get from red chest. Two spiders. So, yeah, you're not going to see me going into curse rooms a whole lot. I mean, once in a while I'll get something, but I don't know, man. Fuck them red chests. Right here, I'm just fucking around because I'm trying to decide if I could c continue playing Demon Judgment. If you look at my health, I have half a heart, but no spirit heart because Mr. Scapular is an unreliable piece of shit. Uh, so we're going to go into this room here, cry on, <laughs> cry blood on some spiders. Um, spirit heart there some more of these little dudes who got their, I don't know what these are supposed to be, dudes who got their torsos chopped off, their heads chopped off, I don't know man, don't know, but uh, yeah, going to here, Mr. Boom, probably the worst item we could have gotten at this point, um, and you'll see me attempting to pick it up and unpick it up, and shooting some poop, crying on some poop. Um, can't tell you how many times I've cried on poop. Here I'll open the shop because I enjoy wasting keys apparently. As you can see I only have three cents and completed every room on the floor so yeah that's not gonna turn out too well. But here you'll see me going back to Demon Judgment thought since I have a spirit heart now I'll give it a try see what happens see if the glitch is broken still and there you go teleports me out moment of truth and it does give me a spirit heart so we know that it's working again and you'll see me mash this a bunch of times but it doesn't do anything 
because I'm teleporting out of the room too fast for Demon Judgment to drop an item. Um, so yeah, right now that's just, he's gonna keep doing that and not give me any items. So I say, fuck it, let's go to the boss room. Pissed off at this point. <laughs> um, yeah, pissed off. We get, I don't know, is this Duke of Flies or the Husk? I don't know. I can never remember. It got hit pretty bad. But, uh, I think this is Duke of Husk? <laughs> Duke of Husk, we'll just call it that. So anyway, um, yeah, resting on some poop. Shielding us from some damage. The candle, though, rapes this guy, so... Just shove the candle up his his rectum and slaughter a bunch of flies with one candle and then we get another devil room and pageant boy pageant boy is shit I hate it yeah it gives me a few coins but every time I get hit from now on I'll lose coins oh 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 very anticlimactic devil room but we'll take the mark because I needed some damage up. Checking my stats, four damage, pretty bad. It's only two damage for two hearts. Not, not good. But since I'm invincible, who cares? See this little loading screen glitch that happens all the time when you get XL floors. Curse of the Labyrinth, I believe, creates an XL floor even when it's not an XL floor. If that makes sense. But um. Yeah, then this room was very bad. <laughs> very bad. But Poison Touch does the trick for us. And since I'm invincible, why not? Right? Right? Okay. Uh, Golden Poop. Always, always fun. Um, shooting the poop, shooting the shit. And we're gonna cry on that guy, kill him. No, we're in a interesting situation here. Going to the shop, mom's coin purse. See that is or not mom's coin purse, just mom's purse. Um, that's actually extremely important for this run because I'm gonna need to keep the cursed skull. But at the same time, I'm gonna want the Polaroid so I can move on to the chest. Mom's purse will allow me to do that. Um, so yeah, that's going to be... That was a great pickup. And this room, taking much longer than it should. These guts are one of the easiest enemies in the game. Um, here we go, get the chest, pick up the hearts. Get another heart, get some coins. Life's good in Isaac. Uh, these dudes, that was some shitty, terribly shitty damage. Burning some zombies with the candle. Now we're gonna pick up Pinky Eye because we have the purse. But drop that once we get the Polaroid. Um. Pinky Eye, pretty good item. Uh, I think it's like once every five or four or five shots is going to be poison. And that's actually pretty good. But it's not that good. And here we get Judgment. Uh, judgment. I, I like Judgment a lot. Uh, he's helped me out a lot. Sometimes he can be a dick though. Uh, this is going to be a very interesting room here. Time and some candle shots. That's what I like about the candle. It's so versatile. Like You can time it. You, you press spacebar. Then he holds it up. Until you press a direction to shoot it. So. Yeah. Just can't stress enough. Candle's a great item. Um... Isaac's head, not going to be too useful, it's just a familiar, nothing special, I actually prefer pinky eye to that, 
because I find it does more damage in the long run, in my opinion. Uh, Shear's not going to be too useful. I already got Blue Candle, so, yeah. Pretty much done with this floor already. Um, it's a labyrinth floor, so I'm not going to really want to check out the whole thing. Judgment's being a douchebag, but blows himself up and gives me six coins and a bomb, so all in all, didn't lose anything on Judgment. Pretty sure all I did was gain one cent overall. Uh, buy the Spirit Heart. Um, go fight the boss. We're pretty much done here. I don't know what I was checking out there. We got Monstro 2. Monstro 2 has one of those brimstone shots. Very hard to dodge because you can't see it coming. Except his, his little cues. His little animation that he does right before he shoots it but it's very when I'm mainly paying attention to what I'm doing so I can dodge whatever he's throwing at me but when he's doing that it's instantaneous so can't really dodge it unless you're paying very close attention smart player would just not go to the sides of him but I'm not a smart player so it's not something I'm gonna do um, Spawn and flies, nothing too bad. That's mm, probably shouldn't have hit me, but you know, whatever. I have the scapular glitch. I'm invincible. So damage doesn't matter. Uh, we're gonna kill him. Health up, fantastic. And head into the mom fight. Blue mom. Very easy because she's slower I think um, I don't know if that's 100% true someone correct me if I'm wrong but another fantastic thing about the candle you can hurt these things while they're closed while those doors are closed you can still do damage through them with the candle as you see right there very useful super expl explicative Exploit, explicative. No, those words aren't the same thing. Anyway, um, Polaroid and Chris Skull. Get the speed up and head down to the womb. And it glitches again, as it always does. So yeah, this is looking to be pretty, pretty good run. Lord of the Pit, love, love Lord of the Pits. Cool looking flying item, passive. It's pretty amazing, but I rarely get it for whatever reason. I think this, yes, I could probably count on one hand how many times we've got Lord of the Pit. But uh, yeah, that uh, vampire, vampire life suck. Help me out right there. Actually, kind of useful on the womb. Oh, that was shit damage. But, uh, <clears throat> you guys will see I'll get incredibly lucky, <laughs> no, incredibly unlucky womb run here. Um, this douchey little double spider. But, uh, all in all, this, this is gonna be one tough floor. These things, no, oh, okay, never mind. These things are really easy, the brimstone eyes are easy, but uh, <clears throat> those normal, like the technology laser eyes, I have a very tough time with. Um, they're just all in all douchebags to me. I don't know why, I just can't seem to dodge them. They're very easy to dodge, very predictable, but... Can't do it, man. Can't do it. Killing some guts. Killing some more guts in these floating fetuses. Feed eye. Feed eye. Feed eye. Fetus eye. No. Fetuses. Um. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Killing some guts. Uh, another curse room that I refuse to go in because fuck curse rooms. Um, these guys are weird. I don't understand them. 
They have regular hearts and green hearts, and they're jumping around. Look like bitches, but, uh, you know, bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. Got some more of these floating ass, <laughs> floating ass bitches, um, champion guts. Guts is like, I don't know why they're, uh, they're a necropolis and beyond enemy. They're so easy. And then you have like the leaping spiders, which in my opinion are much harder than guts. And the leaping spiders are on like first floor basement and stuff. I don't understand that. Um, some weird pacing, but you know how it goes. I love Isaac, one of my favorite games of all time. This and Dark Souls actually. Dark Souls is probably eh, no, okay. Dark Souls is my favorite game of this generation. I'd have to say hands down. Eh, favorite to play. Demon Souls is definitely up there. But um yeah, between this Demon Souls and Dark Souls these are my three favorite games of the past probably five years. So I'm gonna be playing these a lot. Um, if you're not into that, then hopefully I don't know. I don't know why you're still watching at this point, but thank you. Um, if you are into those games, though, stick around. I'll be having plenty of content and hopefully make this channel into something uh, not saying I'm gonna be like the next epic name bro but uh maybe I'll be a little name bro I don't know but double uh, Gertie Jr. Ch with champion Gertie Jr. pretty asshole room pretty asshole room <laughs> Pretty asshole. It's a very beautiful asshole. Um, and it's dead. Okay. So yeah, that was a pretty dick room. These guys, I don't know why. The, not the Gish guy, but the other meat... The meat bros are pretty asshole to me. I don't know. Again, with the pretty assholes... Um... I've, I've yet to see a pretty asshole, but, but, uh, apparently they're showing up in the womb here. Anyway, uh, those, yeah, those meat guys that shoot up, down, left, and right, they're, uh, very, like, they're like a beginning game enemy, yet I find myself having trouble with them all the time. Uh, not necessarily a hard to kill, but hard to not take damage on when there's multiples in a room. For me, anyway, with certain room layouts. Got another Gertie Jr. Hate the fuck out of Gertie Jr. I think um, regular Gertie might be worse. But yeah, really hate these. They show up a lot in the room. And as you will see for me, they show up a lot especially in this run but it doesn't matter I'm invincible right right anyway see yep took some damage there or these meat guys meat bros so, took some damage there that was just idiotic idiotic flying on my parts but uh then we got a champion meat bro <clears throat> um which doesn't matter because everything on the womb does one heart of health so champions versus non-champions is only a matter of they have more HP which is not a big deal uh, then we get a fistula fistula pretty easy to take down with a candle um, not a big deal fistula is rarely a big deal unless it's an asshole room that's got like a bunch of pits in it, something you'd see in Necropolis. Necropolis is by far my least favorite floor. I'd rather 
quite double Gertie Juniors than some of those asshole necropolis rooms. Um, there are some rooms on there that like it'll start you out in a small little pathway that's only one square wide um, around like the pits and then it'll have like neutral flies flying into you so like the, you'll spawn in the room and the neutral fly will be already spawned in your hitbox and since there is only like one one square of clearance there you take damage no matter what on the beginning of those rooms some of them um, I can't possibly th think of a way that you wouldn't take damage on some of those rooms which is just assholeish to me like you shouldn't be forced to take damage I think you should always be able to not take any damage uh, that was some stupid damage that was I was clearly able to not take damage there, but I did it anyway, because I saw it Isaac. Uh, friends to the end, shouldn't have used it there, should have used it in, in uh, the boss fight, but you know, whatevs, whatevs. Got my little doppelganger over, over there, shooting the wall, because he's a retard. Uh, kill him with the candle. Killed in the library with the candlestick. Reference to Clue, great game. I don't know if I botched it, but whatever. Oh, this is an asshole room. Total douchebag room. Um, but the candle. Bam, shit, son. I raped them. Candle is a rapist, but in the good way. Um, <laughs> as if there's a bad way, right? JK, I don't condone rape. Unless it's in Isaac, then I fully condone it. Um, yeah, I got one of these champion brimstone vaginas. And I believe they're actually supposed to be vaginas. Here we go, with these technology eyes. I just can't not take damage. Can't not take damage. Double negative, but it works. And there we get Spirit Heart from the Rout. This guy is a dick. And not only is he a dick, but he's a champion version dick. He is a champion dick. Um, and there you go. I died. How did that happen? I don't fucking know. Scapular glitch didn't work. Um, I don't know why. But, uh, yeah, thanks for fucking me over there, Isaac. Um, well, that's that. Uh, first video for the channel. There will be plenty more to come. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, subscribe, because I will be having much more content on the way and would like you guys to help me build this channel. And see you later.